Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. And in this video, I'm going to show you Simplify 3D 4.1, the newest version of Simplify 3D uh, that recently came out. And well, let's take a look what the differences are between Simplify 3D uh, 4.0 and the new version 4.1. And at first, when you're in Simplify 3D 4.1, uh, zero you can see it here it's 4.0.0 then you can see that uh, if you go to help and click on check for updates that it will say that my software is up to date and actually it's not because when I go to the Simplify 3D website Then on the website you will find that there is a new version which is 4.1 and this version can only be found if you go to the account settings of Simplify 3D and there click on the download software installer and then you can download the software installer and the software will install on your computer and only then you will get the 4.1 version of Simplify 3D. And now the fun thing is, I didn't receive any notifications on my email that there was a new version. Also, uh, I didn't see it in the software. So the only way I could find out that there was a new version was on social media and while I was in a YouTube chat with some other people, uh, then someone told me that there was a new version of Simplify 3D. So, if he hadn't told me, then I would still not know there was a new version out. Now, going back to the software, so far we can't find any big differences between the two software versions. Now, let's take a look what they say on their website that has been changed. So, coming to their website, we can click on the software button and then find here the new what's new version and there we can see that they're talking about multi-material capabilities with support for up to six extruders improved priming and new dynamic construction also and this was a very important thing for simplify 3d they improved the print time estimates and also the sequential printing enhancement so you can print things sequential and uh, don't have to be uh, afraid that your parts will be knocked over for example now there are also some community requests which are in there in the new software like smart bridging with new angle detection uh, customized part edition it can now create uh, slices for more complexity uh, and, and it can do it very easily it has an intelligent solid layer uh, module inside so it has stronger bonds when you're printing solid it has support for 50 plus new machines and then they say there are many more improvements well show me the many more improvements then and not only a photograph and I think that uh, although these are yeah, pretty difficult improvements to to program and therefore uh, I think that the, the, the Simplify 3D team has done a, a great job in uh, building this that nevertheless we have to say that this software costs 150 euros and 150 euros for me is a lot of money so um, on the other hand we also have Cura. Cura is a free slicing software uh, which has improved over the years very very much and well 
To be quite honest, I would have expected a little bit more in Simplify 3D. More features that came to uh, Cura, but well, although I would have expected this, I'm not sure if the new slicing functions of Simplify 3D 4.1 are now better because that was a thing when I was uh, slicing parts for my 3D printers over there and I was using Simplify 3D the 4.0 version then well I, I found out that the newer Cura versions they really did a better job and uh, they gave me more perfect prints than uh, Simplify 3D did now I have to test the same things with Simplify 3D versus Cura. So I'm going to do that in the next couple of weeks. And then I'm going to inform you guys on my YouTube channel uh, on how that went. So if you want to stay informed about that, then please click the subscribe button. And I will notify you guys uh, when I have that new video uh, that tells you what the improvements are of the 4.1 version above the 4.0 version but also above the Cura versions that are now uh, downloadable for free. Now one more thing, uh, Simplify 3D posted uh, some hypes about these new functions before they introduced the new software and one of the hypes they were talking about was the new improved printing time estimate and well let me tell you guys I have seen little difference in this file for example so here I am at the older version of Simplify 3D which is the 4.0 version and when I take the settings and all the settings are the same for this version as for the other version I'm running at this moment um, then you can see that here when I click prepare to print that it says I have to wait and I have to wait and I have to wait it's preparing for the print I have to wait um, six hours and five minutes for the print to finish with the exact same settings it's really it's the exact same settings I'm going to hit prepare and print on this version which is the 4.1 version and then I would have to wait 6 hours and 12 minutes so there is a little difference uh, it's only 7 minutes but there is a little difference between uh, the older and the newer version and the newer version is telling me that I have to wait a little longer now Not to disappoint you guys over here. I am printing this part already and on this printer when it's finished uh, The printer tells me the time it took to print this part and we're now uh, 2 hours and 60 minutes 16 minutes in and well, I will show you guys when the print is done how much time it actually took to print this part so here we are with Simplify 3D the version 4.1 um, there are some small differences between the new one and the older one and uh, is it worth to upgrade yes of course because it's free uh, Simplify 3D 4.1 is a free upgrade above 4.1 uh, 4.0 I, I, I call it an upgrade but really it's an update and um, yeah I think that uh, because it's free well of course you should get the new version and you can't get it by just checking for the newer uh, software updates because it won't find it and you have to find it yourself on the website you have to log in with your credentials and then you can download the installer and the installer will install the software for you it won't deinstall the older software for you so the older software will stay installed on your computer and you now have two versions the 4.0 version and the 4.1 version so for example if you have a, a, a smart link on your desktop to your Simplify 3D then you will stay 
uh, with the older version because that smart link links to the older version which is on your computer. Now that said, uh, of course you are going to create a new smart link and you will have new links to your newer version of software. And I do quite like that they don't overwrite the old version. I, I like it because then you can, uh, well, if, if things are not going very well, you can always fall back on the old version re you are relying on. Now, this is it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll show you guys uh, on the end of this video. I'll put a link on it uh, on how this print went. Because this print is still printing and uh, tomorrow I will make the last final uh, video and show you guys how this print went. And then I will also tell you uh, how much time it took. So stay updated, click the like button, click the subscribe button and after I shut my mouth you can see how much time it took to print this part. It's a new day, the print is done. Uh, this is the completed print. And I think it printed very nice, only under the chin there was a little, yeah, a little string of hair. Um, I, I started this print yesterday and it was a test print to see how Simplify 3D 4.1 handled it uh, in time. And the time for this print, uh, it was 6 hours and 26 minutes. So it printed in 6 hours and 26 minutes.